Hi everyone, my name is Max2. Today we're going to be going over probably the most powerful tool uh, that traders and uh, industrialists have in EVE Online, Everness. Uh, Everness is a wonderful tool that helps you manage your orders, buy and sell, and uh, market analysis along with stuff like or, arbitra or arbitrage and uh, scrap metal arbitrage and um, fancy stuff like that. Uh, if you don't have Everness, you're going to want to Google it and download it. I have it installed right now. Everness, I can't spell. Once you have it installed, you're going to open up. Uh, it's going to ask you to import your characters. Go ahead and do all that fancy stuff. I'm not going to show you how to do all that. But once you're done, you're going to be greeted with a screen like this. And you're going to go, holy shit, there's a lot of tabs. Um, there's tons of stuff to do. And you're, oh, what am I going to do? Don't panic, first of all. Uh, you're going to import all your characters and stuff. Um, just hit the import button. It'll do all that. Second of all, we're going to go up to our preferences. And we're going to make a few changes here at first. Um, we are going to do fast price copy sound up to you. Uh, come down to prices. Uh, this price delta tab is going to look like this. It's going to be 0 0.1 ISK and, um, or 0 0.01 ISK and 0 ISK. Um, this is going to be when the tool is helping you, when Everness is helping you update orders, it's going to automatically put the price in for you. How big of the price delta do you want? I like my delta to be a 0.2 ISK, and you can also have it add a random amount of ISK. I usually add between 0 and 3 ISK. Uh, make sure to tick refresh prices after order import. Um, these two, it's up to you, and you're going to come down here to fast price copy. Set a shortcut. Now, when I was setting this up, some shortcuts for some reason didn't work, so you're just gonna have to try it. I have Control Alt F and Control Alt D, and then I bounded it, those two to my mouse. Uh, enable it and show in Eve on copy. Also, you're gonna come down to Source. Make sure your prices are coming from the web, the API, the order or the order input type is on Auto, and get it from ESI. Also, come down to Network. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, network. Once you come down to network, you're gonna come up here and set your max ESI network threads to as high as you can. Um, if you're on a low-end computer or whatever, it's probably just gonna be eight. I set mine to 99, then it brought it down to 50. Orders seem to load faster, so whatever. Ignore certificate errors, that sort of stuff. Hit okay. Uh, and now you're gonna be like, well, wow, this is cool. What do I do? Well, I think a good thing to start out is a market analysis. This is probably the biggest and best feature of Everness. You can import data from any region that you want. For example, Sync Liaison in the Forge. I do station trading, or not station trading, I do inter-regional trading between you know Amar and the Dixie and stuff. Um, so you can go ahead and select the Forge and the Dixie, which is Sync Liaison. Um, and then select the types of items that you want to trade or analyze and hit OK. This is going to run off and fetch a bunch of orders from um, the ESI client, and it's going to return to you prices and stuff, and it's going to automatically analyze and give you good items to buy and sell. Um, this is probably easily the greatest feature of this as it makes actually finding things to uh, trade um, stupidly easy. So once this is done, um, by the way, I get an error every time that this server history replies goes through. I just cancel it and it fixes it. Um, you'll see that in a second. All right, as you can see, we have I have this error and it's going to save all of our orders. Normally this box is going to be ticked up here. It says don't save imported orders. I uncheck that because if you don't do this, you can tab out and it'll delete everything. and It's really annoying. So I suggest save your import orders. Um, and then once this saves, I'm going to go ahead and close it. Come on. There you go. Okay. So now you can select a region that you want to trade in. For example, let's trade in the Dixie. Wow. Look at this. This is going to give you a giant list that is, by the way, copyable and pasteable into a spreadsheet. So for all you spreadsheet nerds out there, which if you're doing trading, you probably are, um, you can copy and paste all this data and you can just 
put it straight into Excel and it works. Um, but basically, the thing you're going to want to pay attention to is obviously average volume. I am only looking for items that have 30 buy and sell orders moved a day, or I guess 30 units moved a day, and with 30% margin. Go ahead and hit apply, and it's going to reevaluate all this. And look at that, it's going to give us a margin and a buy order and sell order count. Um, and this score is probably the most important thing. This score is a function of difference versus volume. So in general, you, you should usually double check this, for example. Um, I know I checked this earlier today, this is all messed up, but look, this Type D Restrained Overdrive Injector has a buy, best source price of zero, so you can be like, oh, I'll copy and paste this into um, you know, Eve, Market, Eve Marketer. You can right click and it'll pull it up for you. Look at that. Um, so we can go ahead and pull this up and select our region to sync liaison and there's no there's no sellers and no buyers into Dixie and it has pretty bad volume so not a good item not a good item so you're gonna need to do a little more research um, but this score is absolutely amazing same thing for inner region I can go ahead and pull up um, Gita to the Dixie um, and it will go ahead if you do inner region trading it should give you I don't know why it does this sometimes. Sometimes it bugs out. There it goes. Um, so all this, once again, is copy and pasteable, but um, it's going to give you a list of items that you can look into. So medium core defense field purger. Ooh, look up on Eve Marketer. That's pretty good, except it's a, it's a, uh, what is it? Rig. So not that great, but uh, yeah, it'll give you a list of stuff. Now, this obviously changes, so every day you do this, it's going to be a little different. Scores are going to be a little different, and our 30-day average volume is going to be different. Uh, one thing to note is that when it gets these items, it's taking into the station that has the lowest volume moved today. So um, when you set 30, it's going to pick between Jita and the Dixie, which one has the lower volume. Um, I have a whole spreadsheet uh, that is like a shopping cart, and it it automatically does all this for me. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this, that it's going to be from the lowest volume. Um, and yeah, but the other thing, and the two things, other things that are super powerful, especially if you're a trader, is this character orders tab. We can come into EVE Online. We're into Dixie right now. And we got some items that we're selling. Uh, not that. I'm going to go to our market and my orders. You can go ahead and export your orders go back to Everness, file import, and it's going to import all of your um, orders. If it will go, come on, buddy. You can do it. Wait on one server reply. There you go. Um, you can go ahead and sort by station. You can just do the Dixie, for example, and this is going to pull up all your buy and sells into Dixie, and it will tell you if you've been outbid or not, and you're like, wow, that's great. Um, how do I update this fast? Ah, here we go. You ready? Click on the item that you want to start out on. Go back to Eve. And remember that shortcut that you set up for the fast price copy? Go ahead and hit the forward key. And it's going to pull up that item and automatically paste in the correct price, usually the correct price, that you want to uh, adjust the item for. So you can also come down here, hit our shortcut again, paste move here, paste, and this saves so much time that it's unreal. So we're just going to go ahead and update all of our orders right quick. Um, here it goes. Modify order. Yep. Oh, so on. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, so you can go ahead and update all your orders astonishingly fast. Uh, it saves unbelievable amounts of time um, and the other tool that you can also you will use uh, not only along with this is if you do control M or hit this margin tool button right here it pulls up this margin tool and this is there's some other program that used to be available but it's not really being developed at the moment but this is essentially that tool um, what you do is you want to come to this medium a azeotropic restrained shield extender you want to analyze this item a bit or you want to update your orders you can set your auto copy and you export to file it will tell you the best buy and sell price to be on top 
your margin, the number of orders, and the and most importantly that I found is the movement. So there's 169 moved. I don't know. I don't know what time frame this is, but 169 moved at a 5:15 and 64 sold at a 337. So this is already copied my sell order. So I can just go ahead and Control V and come back up here and do all that good stuff. Uh, but that's the margin tool. Um, once you get the order thing set up, it's great. One thing to note is that when you you have to Im file import all this stuff, import from web, the first time that you import your orders from the web, it's going to take like 20 minutes. I don't know why. Um, every other time, or the twice that I've done this on my laptop and on here, once you do it, it like zips through it. But other than that, um, it takes a long ass time your first time. Um, but yeah, that is the, uh, this is Everness. You can do other things like check your item history. So if I want to check on items like, um, oh God, drone navigation computer two, that's not a good idea. Um, Kaldari Navy wasp, and it, you can track an item with how much money you've made and all that good stuff. Another thing is their character transactions because, um, uh, this page kind of blows ass keeping track of whatever's happening. So this is fantastic because it gives you your local time that stuff happened at, uh, and it's all copy and pasteable. So it's, it's very nice and you can filter it and stuff. Um, you can also do stuff like industry. So you can set up manufacturing planner or you can check on your mining ledgers. Um, you can do custom item costs for manufacturing LME. If I have no idea what this is, um, and yeah, so that's about it. Uh, you can also check up on your assets and have statistics on, you know, your value and stuff as time goes on. But that, yep, that's the basics of Everness. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it a lot. And uh, have a good day.